Okay, welcome back everyone to PATH. An airport for aliens currently run by dogs is great, but we are going to do something that is a little bit less taxing now than voicing things. So we just grabbed a sacred grove containing map from the from Kirax area. I'm gonna check really quickly how much is this worth? Couple chaos at best. Hmm, do I have a cage map already? Because I might just sell it instead. The cage map. No, I'll do it instead. That's fine. Okay, fire additional projectiles, sacred groves, unique bosses, accuracy. Accuracy is a little bit dangerous. And a less suppressed spell damage is annoying. Endurance charges aren't a really big deal. The additional projectiles and the unique bosses are kind of scary. Okay, I think that's fair. Ooh, we get fusings things on drop. Mm -hmm. Oh, we just have reduced modifier tier on everything. That sucks. Yeah, that's not amazing. Oh, this pack contains an extra chance at monsters, so that's good for us then. Okay, we need to keep leveling. Oh, and actually, I should change the stream title. Okay, stream updated. Oh my gosh, I love I love Pyroclast mines so much. They're just so strong and amazing. They were like the first amazing build I had where I just was like, wow, I have all of the power. I mean, they were the first build that I killed Uber Elder with. And failed to get the recording of that, which really frustrated me. I was actually doing content at the time. I was really hoping to do that, but I fucked up the recording. I screwed up a lot of recordings early on. I mean, I just fucked up the end of the uh, uh, Airport for Dog stream a moment ago, so. Yeah. The amount of times that I forget to change the transition for... for uh, so that people can actually see what's going on is just uh, it's so frustrating. I look forward to when I'm a bit better at checking for that, because, like, I've gotten better, but it's still frustrating at times. Okay, Blight isn't really good for me, but I would like to have Cassia functioning again. I'll give both sides lightning. Hmm. 
more than capable. Still a pretty low tier area anyways. We're only a tier 5. Yay! Now she's in my hideout. Again. I don't know if I need a sepia oil. I'm glad you can call this your home. Cassia. I, I just met her for the first time this league. Oh, my morgue is full. What? That can happen? Oh. Uh... That's awkward. Can I... I can visit my morgue, at least. Uh... I guess I'm going to itemize a bunch of this stuff just to make sure that I have space. And then I'll worry about it after. I haven't been doing any corpse crafting because I want to do it on stream with y'all. Ooh, drop tainted currency. How are you today, Han? Too bad you weren't able to be here earlier. We uh, just finished doing a, a couple hours of uh, an airport for aliens currently run by dogs. Voicing stuff is very taxing, though, so I'm doing something easier now. Nom 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 life force. Mm, I don't like this. Okay, do we... Oh, we didn't get everything. Is that everything? I think so. Yeah, I got everything. Ooh, Primal Blister Lord. Blister Lord. That'll be good for Essence. There's the Blister Lord. I believe if you get him as a beast, he's really good. So, it's pretty... I, I think it's only Einhar's memory of the Sacred Grove that can give you a Grove Beast, though. Yeah, we have a lot in our inventory now since we gra itemized those corpses so that we could have enough room. Beyond Scare of Hemophilia. Increased, mer or increased merging range. That's not bad. Another one? Oh my gosh, we have so many. I want the gold rim. Let me rim you. Hold on. There we go.
Okay, so that way is the way out. This way is just, uh... This way is just over to the... Whatever it's called. Fallside area. I'll dump stuff off. Oh shoot, I never emptied my inventory since, since the Tuesday stream. How did I forget to do that? Wait, Gold Worm's the hat. This is Gold Worm. Okay. Oh, it, oh, it max rolled Fire Res and almost max rolled Quant. I mean, Quant's more important, but it is cool that it's almost max rolled. That would mean that this is worth at least 4C. Okay. Stuff! Carl Vesselkin's an additional div card that gives corrupted items. Ooh. Elemental weakness. Well, I better not get hit by fire. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Mmm, bit busy. I need to be extra careful. Just because my fire res isn't high enough. And they're definitely throwing fire. Not cool. I keep being like, why is my flash triggering? But I think my brain is automatically just like pressing the button because I'm used to just... I've trained my brain to automatically press the... what is usually my mana button, which is the mouse 4, which is my second blast, as you're seeing. So I just automatically press it fairly often, but not necessarily when I need it. Like, I have no conscious... I have just, like, no recollection of it happening, because I'm not doing it consciously at all. No! Fuck. I think it's my first death in maps. Yeah, I'm down at 64. I mean, that's not... That's not necessarily enough to account for that amount of damage. I think I just... Stood in one place too long. Oh, not that. Oh, I'm also standing on desecrated ground, so my regen is, is basically... I basically have no regen because of that. Because it's taking up all my regen just to stay... Uh, just count at the desecrated ground. Volatile power, nice. A firestorm, volcanic fissure, and an augment. Nice, nice, nice. I'm here for you, Executioner. Wait, oh, there's two of them, right. I was confused for a second. I'm like, wait, does it have a, a friend that comes with it? No, it's just twinned. Ooh, that ooh, turned out really nice.
I'm getting XP fast enough that dying once doesn't really matter that much. Okay. Boundaries next, and then primordial pool, or vice versa. Hmm, increased accuracy is not good, but I'll be okay. Wee bit dangerous. Nope, this is the wrong map. Ooh, spawns a lesser shrine of death. I have lots of shrine duration. That is ideal. Hmm. I usually don't rush to kill all the parasites, so having no flash charges is fine. And I often forget one or two things for the Bone Warden, so I can put that down there. Give movement speed to the non-melee thing. And I guess those will just drop the shrines. Actually, these are the more dangerous thing, which means that I'm going to put the shrine on that because I'm going to be killing them very reliably. There we go. Nice, nice. Slowly making money. Eventually we'll be able to upgrade our build. I mean, I can probably afford some upgrades right now, but I'm not really rushing it. I'll get there. Oh shoot, we should have stopped and uh, gone to the uh, reliqu reliquary? No, the uh, mortuary? The graveyard, whatever it's called. Crematorium? We should have gone to the place to do the thing with the dead bodies. You know, I don't like that phrasing, I gotta say. Okay, massive shrine. What's this? Okay, I don't need another resistance shrine right now. Let's get myself my hook. And my determination aura with him. As is always good. I naturally have 11% and he brings me up to 27. That's pretty good. I'm not down in the duelist line, so I don't really have any armor evasion stuff. It's all just evasion evasion. Unfortunately. But, I mean, physical damage reduction is good. I mean, I could also put haste on him, but cast speed and attack speed don't really do anything for me, so it just would be so I move faster. And that's not necessarily worth it. This clears so fast. I love it. Despite, like, not having actually put a huge amount into it yet. I haven't really been noticing the, uh, the meteors. Not sure what happened with there. I don't need a realm shaper. Okay, now we are going to go check on our crematorium, because 
we have way too much stuff and we really need to actually go empty that or we will just be kind of screwed. We'll have to carry more things around. Propolis, that's what it's called. Right, because that's the name of the league. <laughs> oh, boy. Hmm? Hmm. What is all this shit? I cannot even remember why I did this. Apparently I placed a bunch of shit around here for some reason. What is this? Defense mods are scarcer, lightning mods are scarcer, physical mods are... I was making a weapon of some sort for... Some sort of physical weapon. Hmm, it'll be a good physical weapon. It's a good physical weapon that people often use. Maybe a sword? Axe? Swords have a lot of good options. Actually, a bow might be worth it instead. Hmm. Is there a bow or a sword? I can pick a bow. Let's see what happens. And... We get a six link, right? Right? It's a two link. That is so underwhelming. Fuck. Oh my gosh. Is. I don't even need to pick that up. Well, actually, I should check if the bow gem skills thing matters, but. This is such crap. Okay. Whatever. I've not had very good luck with with Reliquary this so far. And that might not be because of Reliquary, it might just or that might not be me, that might just be how Reliquary is, but I don't know. It's doesn't feel like it's doing a doing very good, let's put it that way. Hmm. The beast corpses it's not be consumed. Modifier tears. I'm gonna put up some shit ones, and then I will change their what they are. I think. What has the most around it? Uh, I guess they all have four around them. Hmm. I'll start here. I'm gonna go for gonna get rid of the scarcer ones. Scarce fire. Um, scarce modifier, scarce attack, scarce mana, scarce fire, scarce fire. I'm not going to need mana modifiers for anything. Okay, so now I'm going to change all of these, ideally. We'll see if they... if... if... all eight of them change, or... Eight? Are there eight there? Seven of them change or not. Let me do this. Corpses and adjacent graves and their, this corpse have their... Crafting outcomes randomized. Okay, so it doesn't do the corners. Reforge socket links. Ooh. 
There's at least two other monsters with the same monster name. Enraptured Beast. Oh, do I have anything like that? Effect, increased effect of beast corpses. Oh, well, I mean, that buffs the Enraptured Beast, but I don't know... I mean, I don't have anything like that. I don't know what this would even make that I would care about, but... I guess I could try to make a... chest... just like another Link chest plate. I'll just add a modifier to your thing, and... Oh, I'll just try it as is. Let's just make something random. Uh... Sure. I don't have enough stuff to like to synergize with all the things I got there, so I might as well just do something random, it's fine. And also, we don't seem to be doing very much stuff with this, so... Hmm... Chance of fire. Chance of fire. Chance of cold. Chance of cold. Chance of lightning. Chance of lightning. Chance of lightning. Chance of defense. Defense. I'm gonna try to make a try resist is what I'm trying to do. Then I have a resistance one. Increased chance of of resistance modifiers. Reduced physical. It's defense. I like increased defense. Uh, do I have anything for sockets now? I mean, I can add quality, but that doesn't really help me. Use one of these. They're not that valuable. Increase my modifier tiers a little bit. Okay, I say a little bit. I'm going to increase my modifier tiers a lot. <laughs> okay. How is this going? Oh, 67% cannot roll. Okay. How about now? Oh, 72% can't roll. Okay, I can't anymore. I'm going to increase the item level now. Item level. Item level. I'm just going to go all in on this. Why not? I mean, none of this shit seems to be getting us anything. So I'm not too worried about wasting corpses. Nothing seems valuable. Hmm. These are beast corpses not be consumed. I don't know if I care. I kind of wish I put one of the construct the contracts can't be consumed here. Unfortunate. Oh well. Okay, let's make something crazy then. We have so much shit put into this. Okay. I am thinking... I haven't put a speed modifier, so I don't want that. I'm gonna either make a helmet or gloves. My helmet's pretty good. I'm gonna make some new gloves, see if I can make something better than this. Hmm... Okay, and I'm probably going to make just pure evasion. I could do evasion under shield. I mean, I want to maintain at least some amount of energy shield so that my ghost shrouds are still being useful. Yeah, I guess I'll do murder mitts. Okay, let's try. We just... We just used a lot of shit for this. Let's see if this does something, because this is like 15 corpses. Please, please, come on.
Uh, okay, well, we can make try resist with a craft. That, cro that costs like a third of my necropolis to make something of that quality. That's not very high quality at all. That's 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 pretty low as far as I'm concerned. I, mean, I got two tier one mods. That's nice. Like the resistances are good. Just I mean, I want life on there and stuff. Like, uh, that sucks. Let's see what other things we put away. Okay, brought those all back in. I don't even I don't even need to keep that. It's not it's not worth it. <laughs> Just not. I might try to make boots now, I guess. A lot of minus and plus modifier ones. That's interesting. Not sure how valuable those are. I should actually be checking how viable these are. I'll itemize it quickly and check. How much is plus one modifier? Nothing. Okay. How much is minus one modifier? Nothing. How much is dex requirement? more. The haunted ones are probably worth something, but I'm not going to use any of those. There's a crit one right there. That's probably worth something. Barely. Barely worth something. <laughs> Speed? Speed's got to be worth something. Yes, that's worth, like, 4C. Let's just throw some random shit together, because who knows? Maybe we'll find something interesting out of it. I don't really have a whole lot of hope for something crazy to happen, so... I just don't really care. <laughs> Beast... I might as well try to make this make some amount of sense. I'm gonna try to make not consume beast corpses, I guess. Try that. Oh, I thought it had to be adjacent. It's not. Okay. That's fine. Hmm. Let's make some weird shit happen. What weird shit can we make happen? Put some random stuff out. Fizz... Is is randomize Increase chance of suffix modifiers attacks are scarcer armor can roll haunted oh I wish I could capture that Yeah, I think that's good. I like all these things. Anything else I want to anything else random I want to add to this? Hmm, sure. Undead corpses get consumed less. I'm going to use the decks and int ones that I have because I just don't they're they're so low level. Want I don't really want that. Uh, 
I don't know if there's like a particular benefit to picking one of these or whatever. Hey, what are we making with this? So, large chance of something haunted, large chance of, su of suffix, no real attack stuff. Okay, I'll make more gloves, I guess. I don't know. Uh, Vagin under shield gloves. Yay! Sure, why not? Those are certainly gloves. <laughs> I'm so disappointed in this crafting, because, like, uh, it seems so cool at the start, and now it's like, can it can it make anything? Like, can it actually make something that's that's functionally useful for anything? I highly question that. Okay, so I'm going to... Trash all those modifiers. Randomize. It's corrupted. That's probably not good. Increase effect of beast corpse adjacent to this one. Okay. Do I have a beast corpse I want to add? I don't really want to increase the fact of that, I guess. I don't really want to use the speed modifier either, since I can just sell that. Hmm. Ah, we'll just end it with this. Life modifiers are scarce. More mana. No, maybe we'll make a ring with this. Let's make a mana ring. What's a good ring for lots of mana? I could make a Puao ring. For just a shit ton of mana. Actually, it's going to corrupt it, so there's a good chance it's going to replace the implicit anyways. You know what? Actually, let's try doing an unsocketed ring. <laughs> or an unset ring. I want to see what's going to happen. Because it might, because since this is going to be corrupted, it might give us a white socket. It did! Uh, gave us a lot of mana regen. It gave us a lot of mana. Mana and chaos. That's... Genuinely don't know if that's worth anything. Like, it, I don't think it is. I really don't. I mean, okay, it's a white socketed uh, unset ring, which makes it worth about 1c to begin with. Okay. It has mana and mana regen. Okay, I'll just say mana and mana regen on an unsocketed ring. Or unset ring. That's worth nothing. Mana, mana regen, and chaos, like 3c. Okay, this is probably not worth much, especially seeing as it's corrupted. Do any other weird shit to make? Not really. We have two Freesha. I'd love to make a Freesha set, but we still need a third one. I believe you need three. Okay, well, we used up enough of our corpses. It's unfortunate that nothing we got was even remotely worth anything. You know what, I can still put this up for a, for a C. It might sell. Maybe. Or it might just waste bank space, who knows. I'll put that up for a C as well. Okay, let's go do this contract. Unfortunate that it really, really didn't do that well. I, I really want it to be decent. Like I really want 
uh, or Necropolis crafting to be recent. Recent? To be decent, but like, it's just... So far, it's not. It just... It just isn't. Like, no part of this has been useful, really. I mean, we made one... We made a single amulet when we were really low level that was useful. And we made that 80% resistance one that is okay. Uh, I wish it had defense. I wish it had evasion or energy shield on it. I wish it had life on it. I wish it just had actual stuff that's useful. Oh, the third suffix is blocked. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, no, that's this is worthless. I mean, I'll, I'll add life to it and try to sell it. It might be worth a few C, but like, no, that's not that's not good. I mean, the item levels. I boosted the item level like five times, and it's only level item level seventy eight still. Like, eh. What's the point in boosting the modifier level of something if the item level is too low to actually roll anything that's decent? Okay, Ayla, let's get your prototypes back. Also, I don't really understand what Aramir er, has always said about patterns being important. Like, what is that supposed to mean? Because there's some scenarios where it's like, ah, oh, yes, the adjacent thing uh, gets a buff of some sort. But those aren't very common. If it's just like, hey, keep an eye out because some things actually, it actually matters which position you put them in, like, that's one thing. But it made it sound like that was a core mechanic, when it doesn't seem to have a notable effect in most scenarios. I mean, maybe there's something to the mechanic I don't know about, like, there's a good chance of that, but it just, I don't know, it just seems strange. Not very well explained either, but, I mean, when has Path ever been well explained? I guess that's why channels like mine actually exist, because we give information on an otherwise informationless game. Most of the shit I know is because I've just sat there and read the wiki for large periods of time, or I have uh, read through, like, I've Google searched through Reddit a bunch, trying to find certain things, like, like, all of it is just research. None of it's from the actual game. Okay, I found... Isla's junk. I almost called her Alba. What's that girl captain doing? Oh, they're preparing a shot. Okay. I thought they were just, like, squatting down, and I was concerned and confused and alarmed. Happy to be able to get some contracts going. It's really nice. Getting through some of like the major contracts, then we'll be able to get a bunch of extra rogues markers from them, and they're already cheap to begin with, so... A little bit of extra money, a little bit extra high gear, a little bit extra rogue markers, and we got a uh, arrowhead earlier, so that we will be able to add an aura to something else, too. So we'll be able to add a haste aura to something that is kind of secondary, maybe? I think Talina isn't, like, one of the most important characters for me, uh, but she usually comes along with other characters, so it would make sense to put, like, a secondary aura on her, 
where like the more important characters I bring everywhere would have like the stronger defensive auras that I need, like determination. Yay, money. I love money. Eh. Ooh. You know, if you actually run a whole bunch of breaches, that is not too bad. That's 85, per 85 life per second regen, 128 life, and... 72 lightning res. That's pretty good. And 40 energy shield. That's that's actually really good for a hybrid build. I mean, it's it's still only a breach ring, and people still only use breach so much, but like it's something. Okay, let's put some sort of some okay, hatred is useless to me. Put a useful aura on here. Ooh, added fire damage is good. Okay, auras or suffixes. Prefix. Suffix, that's a suffix. That's a prefix. And it's job speed. Eh, grace. I mean, I have grace, so it's kind of not useful. Suffix. Prefix. Ooh. Haste. Eh, it's not bad. I mean, that's flash charges and fire damage. Aura? Eh. You know what? That's not bad. Tips, here you go. We hang around a lot. Why not you? Okay, let's get some more contracts and maps. I keep feeling like there's an extra labyrinth I need to do, but there isn't. I'm done. I don't I don't know what where that just nagging feeling is coming from. It's not very useful, that's for sure. Ooh, steel charges, that's not good. Ooh, that's a rough map. Um, uh, it's still a t it's a tier six, so I'm gonna say that that's okay still, but that's not usually that good. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's nice. Hmm. Well, high XP on the most the common thing. Chrome's on there. Yeah, I mean, I don't really see a reason to edit most of this. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's all good. Envoy? Maven time! We get to have the Maven witness our first map. Now we go murder everything. Ooh. What are the chalice artifacts? That's nice. Don't remember... Don't remember which... Oh, wait. That's... Oh, I was trying to remember what the Chalice Artifacts were. No, it's the Order Artifacts. I think Order is important. I don't remember... I don't remember which, uh... Which one of the Expedition people Order is. Hopefully Danig. That's all I can really say. Uh, by default, Danig is always best, because Danig you can convert to anyone. Uh, what the? Oh, there's a shrine right here. 
It's like, what's going on? There's mysterious skeletons appearing. Zoom. Eee. <laughs> to undead corpses, good. I regret. Oh. Stop that. Some skeleton of mages is leveling up. That's good. That's going to be a nice little nest egg. I'm like, why isn't the strong box title going away? I keep hitting it. No, I have to hit the thing first. Then the spawns the monsters. Then it works. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm so silly tonight. I don't know why. Been a busy week, I guess. Oh, it's going to get busier too soon. That's okay, though. I like busy. It helps keep the darkness at bay. Permanent Scarab of Release. Set free 25% to... Wait, Torment Spirits in area have a 25% chance to be set free when possessed monsters are slain. That doesn't seem very useful. Permanent Corruption in the areas can only result in upgrading or transforming essences. As opposed to what? Maybe they can downgrade essences? Oh, that sucks if they can downgrade essences. I don't really know much about the Remnants of Corruption because that involves essences, and essences I've never been profitable, so I very rarely look into them. And many times I've been, like, looked into them for crafting purposes, I've always been like, well, it takes so long because I have to find someone who will respond to me in trade, and then I get one, maybe two essences from them at most, and then I go message four other people, and eventually one of those people responds. It's just, it's not worth it since we can't mass buy things. Which would be solved by an auction house. I'm not going to get into it, but it would so be solved by an auction house. So I leveled up. Nice. Where am I going right now? The last thing I got, I think, was the was fervor. So, hmm. So I need eight. So I have eight more points in my build. One, two, three, four, five, six. Where are the other two points? Seven. Oh, eight. Okay. Because I had detonate mines as a trigger when you're moving. I can give myself more life regen. I'll do that. Then I'll work on the blind stuff. Hello, Rog. You are nowhere near as useful as I'd like you to be, but you're still... Kind of okay, sometimes. In the campaign. Fortunately, I'm out of the campaign, so there's not really much I can make with him. Though I am decent at ex- This builds a decent for expeditions, so... I could do more expedition this league for once. Rather than just ignoring it, because my builds always suck with it. Because I tend to- For whatever reason, I go for- like, big, big single pieces of damage builds, for whatever reason. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna put that over there. Grab both these remnants. Grab these. 
Grab these. Oops. And grab these. Not a very good line, but like... This isn't a very good area for expedition either, so... Nope. I... I knew as soon as I realized it was going to explode there, I'm like, this is going to kill me. And I'm like, no, I gotta move! Nope, didn't work. I did not even put- oh my god, I'm so far away. I didn't even put down a fucking portal. Why do I hate myself? I have crippling self self esteem issues. That's why. That's a joke for reference. <laughs> I'm actually decently okay with myself these days. Therapy is very important for that. Sometimes people forget that, or not forget. Sometimes a lot of people don't realize that. You need to be... It's important to see a doctor, like, if you can... Obviously, if you can afford it. If you can't afford it, it's not like you have any option, but, like... If you can afford it, you need to... It's important to see a doctor, and therapy is the exact same thing. It's just for your brain. Like, even if you're not someone with a lot of mental... Like, with mental health issues or anything, like, it's still important for your mental health to maintain it through stuff like that, so you don't have mental health issues. So a lot of people who just don't have any like notable mental health issues are just like, yeah, I don't. There's no point, and I don't need therapy. Well, see, the thing is, it's preventative. They can help a lot if you just ha just having someone to talk to, specifically trained to listen. It's really important. A lot of people don't know that, or don't understand that, or they're of the like, ah, oh, therapy is for crazy people kind of old school mindset. No, therapy's not for crazy people. The crazy people are not in therapy. That is the problem. I'm going with the strong boxes. I mean, extra strong box is always good. Correct, like you found this new mysterious presence called the Maven? And I'm like, dude, we've had this conversation so many for so many leagues. It's like all the characters get short term memory loss when a new league happens. It's like Wow, we're discovering all these new things. It's like he's like, now I have a brother. His name is Baron. I'm like, yeah, I know. Don't worry, I know your brother. <laughs> Killed him a few times. Let's see. It's actually a half decent helmet. Well, okay, like 2C decent, but you know. Oh, right, we're already done here. I don't... <laughs> I don't need to go back into the maps again. Oh, yeah, I haven't done any... his stuff yet. The Act of Div Cards is good, but also... Well, no, we're gonna get a lot of those. The Act of Div Cards... Also, we're going to turn off the quest helper. Because... Excuse me, I turned off the quest helper. Why is the... Why... Uh... Maybe I can start a Sanctum run, step in and step out, and then just not do it. Maybe that'll work. Oh no, we're in gardens again. No! No! <laughs> I usually block this map for a reason. 
Well, that's a new modifier. I just saw an additive resistances on there. I wonder if every time you hit it with some with like a particular element, it, the resistances go up for it. That's interesting. Oh, that's weird. So there's no, there's no lantern because this is Kirak. Feels so weird. Wait, have I, have, have I done gardens? Yes, yes, because I was complaining about it last stream as well. <laughs> that's how I know I did it. Means I can check for more maps. Towers, Arid Lake, Phantasmagoria. Need any of these. Tower. Need tower. Need tower. Moon Temple. Any Moon Temple? Maybe. I do need Moon Temple. Awesome. We should check the Emperor's luck. Give me five mirrors. Uh, no, it's not going to give me five mirrors. It's going to give me five transmutes like it always does. <laughs> oh, I got to try at least. You know, if you do it enough times, eventually you are likely to get something cool. Wait, I should actually bother to put something on this. Besides just that. Oh. It got, like, one of the best possible modifiers and one of the worst possible modifiers for me. <laughs> Shoot. Ooh. Wow. XP, 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 XP. Hmm. Since this is a boosted number, I'm going to swap these. Mm, which is the most annoying of these? Oh, if I put an ember on here, can I u make use of the more pack size? Hmm. Let's try the order of the chalice thingy. Cool, let's try that. We're using our embers, yay! Actually using them. <laughs> I mean, I haven't that bad remembering to use my embers so far. I just have the uh syndrome sometimes like you know you know the like the cons the finite number of consumables syndrome where you have like a finite number in the game and you're like but what what if I need it later Not that there's a finite number here but it does feel like but what if I need it later And Blister Lord. And Curse. Curse. There we go. Asted and Life Leech. That is an awful combo. You know, they really simplified Harvest, and in some ways I do like it, but in other ways I don't like it. 
I used to, oh, I used to love Harvest so much. It was it was really fun, but it also it also did slow down your mapping a whole lot. I don't know if I would still like it today if it was the way it used to be, but I still miss it. Ah, nope, 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 nope. Okay. Grasping vines and chill is not cool. That is a very cruel set of things to give me. Okay. Oh. Hello, June. Glad to have you here. Uh, Torment Scarabs. No, I don't really want you there. Thank you, Isling. Goodbye, Isling. <laughs> just torture you for a little while, Isling. It's totally cool. All Flame Ember of Anarchy. Oh. God damn rogue exiles. I guess it's probably going to be a case where I encounter something that is dangerous enough that I would rather trade it for a rogue exile. So at least I do have that as an option, but... It's not something I want to use very often, that's for sure. Because there aren't that many things that are more annoying than rogue exiles. Unless it's like a horde of Katava's Heralds or something. That would not be great. A lot of people have been thinking about me having my, uh, my avatar in the middle here. I'm in kind of in two minds, because it means I get to put the avatar in the shorts if I'm clipping something, but also I'm worried it's going to cover something up that's important. But I guess there's nothing really, really important in the middle of the screen, usually. Okay. Will you all just wander away from me so I can grab this corpse? Oh, lag. No, don't you dare lag on me. We good? I'd rather have it queue up a bunch of attacks and have things wander into attacks than me die. Okay, I think we're good. Those hitches always make me so nervous. Ugh. I have zero dropped frames, so that must have been on the... Uh, that must have been on GGG's side. Not on my internet side. Okay, what other things do we have around here before we go in and smack the boss? Give it a good smacking. Ooh, sulfite golems. Ignomon? Ignomon. Man, I hope Order Artifacts are Tushin. I'd be so happy if that was true.
I don't, it's not really something I bother to memorize or anything since I don't really play Expedition usually, because usually my builds don't like Expedition. Nope! Man, you're tanky. Picked up Huck at some point. I don't even remember doing that. What the Huck? Boop, 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 boop. Ooh! I like that. That could actually be a really good set of gloves. Not so much for me, but... I don't think. Yeah, not so much for me. But it is cool. I, I do really want evasion rating. Ignamon. Alright. Good leveling, Unique. I decide I want to level something else. Dry Foundry. Hmm. Okay. I have so many things I'm just not using. <laughs> I don't think it really matters. I don't really need to use any of them right now. More pack size, one less modifier tier. Mm -hmm. Well, scales fire two additional projectiles would be disastrous on totems. Because these totems have rapid fire projectiles. Uh, these don't use any ranged attacks, so they get into additional projectiles. Oh, wow, it, the tier changes. Huh. I think I'm going to give rarity to this, since there's so many of them. I don't want Katava's Heralds to have global accuracy. Oh, they don't use spells. Here, I'll swap that. Perfect. I, mean, I could always replace the replace the, the Katava's Heralds with Pro Exiles, but I don't know. I know I said that that would be what I would prefer to replace, but I, I still don't know if that's really what I want to replace. I mean, we'll see this this run if if it's like ridiculous or not. If they're a pain in the ass, I can always replace them. Though it would matter a little bit more in higher level maps anyway, so maybe it's for the best to save those till I'm in like yellow maps at least. Okay, scarab of something of selectiveness, ritual scarab of selectiveness. Well, we're rolling favor in ritual areas for no cost the first two times and allowing re-rolling favor one additional time. Okay, so so basically you can Actually I don't know how many times you can re-roll favor by default. Maybe it's only once. Maybe you can re-roll favor. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know how that works. Also, I just got a Blade Trap with quality on it. That could be really good, because they buffed Blade Trap of Great Swords this league, so a bunch of people are probably wanting to try it. It might be a good chance to convert that when I do a, if I do another lab run. 
this league. Which I know might sound a bit silly, but like I don't I really don't like doing the lab, so there's a good chance I might just not do more. Unless I need to help a friend. Usually that's when I'm more likely to go back into the lab is when I when I when I'm helping someone, but otherwise eh. Four additional packs of mirrored rare monsters, that's cool. I wonder if it's like a pack as in like a lot of rare monsters or just a rare monster with a bunch of uh, minions and their entire pack is re-rolled. Or not re-rolled, is mirrored. Eh, who knows. I'll find out eventually, I'm sure. I'm gonna have to look that up because that one honestly seems like it's really valuable. I wouldn't be surprised if a, if a lot of, if that's like a higher selling one. Actually, I guess I can just check right now. It's worth an entire 2C. Maybe it drops commonly? Or maybe it's just not as good as it sounds. Or maybe it's competition for those slots is just much, much higher than... It just the stuff that goes in that slots are just much better than that. But even if something's good, that doesn't matter if there's something slightly more good. If something's gooder. <laughs> I'm sure English majors out there would love to hear how much gooder things are. Hey, I play this this game goodly. And wellish. Which is like relish, but not at all. Wait, if something's a in if something exists, is it also a concept? Therefore, would relish not be a concept? Or at least, it's a category, and categories are concepts. So you could kind of consider it to be in the same tier as, like, philosophy concepts. Because they're all also concepts that categorize things. DLDR... Aristotle should have talked more about relish. I wonder how many people I've angered in the last 30 seconds. <laughs> oh. This is why you don't look away when things are happening on your screen, because then you nearly die from... Whatever the fuck I was dying from. Ooh. Ooh. That's a tier 1 life, but it's only item level 77. Isn't very good. Let's see how much that is. Uh, C at the best. I'm sure if they knew what relish was, they would relish the concept of relish. <laughs> uh, I'm glad you made it today, Pyro. How you doing? Having a good day so far? Work weeks coming to an end. Soon. Not yet, exactly, but pretty soon. Is there more of this map, or am I done? I think I'm most- I'm more or less done. Huh. 
Okay. Naps are great. And I wish I... I kind of wish I had that naivety that I had growing up, where I was like, man, when you're older, you have control of what you're doing, so you can nap all you want. No. <laughs> I have responsibilities, I cannot nap as much as I want. So when I get to the point in my life where, if I want to nap, I can nap as much as I want, and it just does not matter. Doesn't affect anything. Everything's fine. So we're done the foundry. I have so much of like incentive to full clear maps with uh with the lantern with Necropolis. Drop weapons converted into orbs regret. Hmm. Can I force something to drop weapons? Wait! Rogue Exiles drop a lot of weapons and armor. I mean, it'd be better to use it on armor, though, not drop weapons, but Orbs of Regret are good. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna swap that. That might actually be really good. Mm, I'm giving Acceleration Shrine to that, I guess. I don't know. I don't really like these having a high movement speed, but it's only one thing. Not that bad. Guess I can add this to the Quant one. Tumbling Wealth. Oh shit! I didn't realize how valuable these were. Oh fuck. This is worth 250 C, and I just used one. Wait, can I take it back? Oh my gosh, these are worth so much money I didn't realize. <laughs> what the fuck? Are any of these other ones worth like a stupid amount of money? Zerking Gemlings. Put an omens one down. Add a quant to the omens. Let's do that. I'll be good. Oh. Yeah, I realized you could just pick it back up and plop it back into your, your inventory. Okay, I'm glad that that happened, because I... I'm glad that I checked that first before I submitted it. Because I didn't realize that I had so much money worth of stuff there. I have 500 chaos worth of embers there. How does that even work? Like, that makes me wonder if I should just use it. Because that's ridiculous that they're that valuable. Maybe I should invest in Necropolis stuff on the, uh, Atlas. Necropolis. I thought it was on the Atlas. Did I spell Necropolis wrong? Oh. All those are in very much opposite locations. Hmm. What gives more embers? If they're that valuable, I would like to get more. Build of reels around craft and buried. Uh, do a nearby corpse every second to recover 10% of life. And mana for 30 seconds? Wow. Pretty good. 
Unsolved Anguish. Okay. Try top left. Members of the All Flame. I don't know what those are. Not what I'm looking for, that's for sure. Modifier tier, unique item crafting, meta modifier. Hmm. I guess there aren't anything that increase actual embers. Some div scarabs are 40 plus div? What? What the hell is a div scarab? Oh my gosh! <laughs> I gave the necromancers... Uh, I gave the necromancers an acceleration shrine! <laughs> oh, that is... Wow, I made them very impotent, that's for sure. So, what are Div Scarabs? Do you mean, like, Divination Card Scarabs? I mean, I'm going to be quite strong soon, so I can afford to... To, like, hold on to something until it's worth it to use. Though it might be worth it for me to power up my build first and then worry about money. Or then worry about, like, currency farming strats. Okay. Interesting. So whenever you're in one of your favorite maps, it drops more div cards? Is basically what you're saying? I mean, I can just look it up, but that is interesting to hear. I'll have to keep that in mind. Moral Flame Anarchy, uh, like an Anarchy. I think I still have an Alva Temple I'm making. I can do work on that. Whatever map you run has all of its card drops from your favorite map pools to Oh, okay, so if there's a map that drops the Doctor, then you favor that, and... Okay, yeah. Okay, I'm caught up. Okay, come north. Up the northwest. There's my Persona Passage. Nice. Okay, that's a bit much. Let's be, be gentle with the fragile kitty. Oh, no smushing the kitty. Okay, I have 12.5% life reach in a second, but still. I wonder if maximum life or life regen is based on unreserved or unreserved maximum life or just maximum life. I would assume just maximum life.
They were 27 div a few days ago? Wow, that's pretty cheap. Don't they usually start, like, a lot higher than that in the league? Oh. Sun Spite, Sun Dance, whatever those are. Sun Spite. Sun Dance, I was right the first time. What did I say Sun Spite? Ambush boots. I thought they said Amish boots for a second. I was very confused. What, what does that even mean? Okay. Ooh, I can upgrade the Catalyst of Corruption! Hill North, open south, okay. Whoa, okay. No dying, please. Okay. Here we go. This is probably a very, very valuable temple now. Oh, I haven't got a stone of passage yet. Okay. There we go. Wait, it didn't work! No! Eh! Go in there! There we go. Oh, that scared me. Okay, we're good. Locus of Corruption! Yay! Money! I like money! <laughs> I'll have to check how much Locus of Corruption is this league. No, you don't. Mm, no, I don't like that. There you are. Yay! Thank you for all the information, by the way, Pyro. Always appreciate it. I always catch myself wishing that you were here when you're not here in streams, because I'm always like, man, Pyro wouldn't know the answer to this question I'm thinking of. Ooh, it is nice! Ooh. Tier 3 Strength, Tier 3 Lightning, Tier 3 Intelligence. That would be great if... How much is that? God damn it. I have to figure out why my computer freezes up constantly. I have this issue where just every so often it it's just impossible to interact with anything except for the foreground element. Everything else just becomes unclickable. As if there's something in the way of it. Still have yet to figure out what the fuck's up with that. Don't keep whatever the hell is going on there.
Chromes. Hi, Elva. I assume it doesn't matter that I have a, a uh, Hall of War and a Wealth of the Vol. Wealth of the Vol is not really worth much, is it? No, it's worth a tiny bit, but not very much. Then Locus of Corruption. Yep. Yep. As you said, 140. That will pay for my chest plate. To be a big deal because it'll really help a lot. <laughs> Though I don't know. Oh, I do have enough decks even if I take that off. Okay. I'm gonna lose some lightning res though. But one hundred still at 126 lightning res. I will probably be fine. Hmm. Makes me want to try something, actually. Speaking of resistances... Okay, I'm gonna do something kind of stupid looking. I think. How is... how does this work? Um... I'm going to move... I'm going to move uh, Cold to Fire and Lightning to Cold, I think. Okay, Cold to Fire. Oh, I don't have the, the essence for it. I can turn things into Lightning. But not, okay. I'll have to farm some more stuff. Yeah, I want to move lightning to cold and then cold to fire so that I'll, I'll have a lot less lightning then, but I should still be fine. Though if I lose both lightning there and lightning here, that might be an issue. <laughs> I'll have to figure that one out. I get another 5% coal res just if I use a blessed orb and it works. 28%, nice. Okay. How are we completed? Okay, yeah. Onwards! The victory! Moon Temple! These flash charges... Accuracy. Those aren't amazing, but whatever. Okay, blind does not affect me. Immune to blind. Our fanatics don't matter. Curse on monsters kind of is annoying. Okay, well, it's not a big deal. That's fine. Drop an additional jeweler's orb. Use modifier. I think I'll move the Jeweler's Orbs from the Teddy Monsters to the Assault Ribbons. Hmm. Oh, the Teddy Monsters are the most dangerous of the, all of them, so... Always shocks, all damage can shock. That does not matter. I'm Shock Immune! Hooray for Pyromaniac, which continues to be one of the best Ascendancy notables that you can get. 
Tendency passives? Whatever the word is for it. I want to actually like take a moment and just rank what I think are the best ascendancy passives in the game. For like it like for the type of build that they would be for. That'd be really fun. Just like how effective are they at achieving the job that they are set out to? In my opinion at least. There we go. Nope. Oh, I love having so much more pack size this league. It's so nice. I'm going to have to read up on the div card farming strategy. Because if I can do some stuff just in uh, my Atlas passive tree, just to start off, even if I don't have any, I'm not buying any of the scarabs or anything, that would be nice. Okay. No splody. Only I do splody. No. Yep. Gimme. Oh wait. I should be sw I should swap back my filter to endgame again. Wait, that turn Hold on. That turns off jeweler's orbs? Why do I have it set up that way? I like jeweler's orbs. I need to adjust my my loot filters a bit probably. Just to how things are this league. Certain things are more valuable or less valuable every league. I think I just haven't spent enough time in the end game, so I don't have a ton of six sockets that are giving me all my jewelers. I think that's just it. I just have a lot less playtime this league. Which is kind of weird. I guess it's just because I've been so damn busy. I would love nothing more than to to uh, be streaming path all day for y'all. Just a quick reminder that if you like the content, remember to follow the channel. We're very close to reaching our goal of 50 followers for getting affiliate and also you'll be able to be notified when we have our awesome streams hey okay. arid lake that's what's next. Hmm. Steel. Well, okay. Steel charges and gain frenzy charge on hit kind of cancel each other out, so that's fine. Can these deal chaos damage? 
Let's use a caustic arrow, so I'll give it just chaos damage because it already has chaos damage. Chrome's there. Sure. Sure. Yeah, delirium. Always good. Talk to oh, talk to Niles because I picked up one of his uh, a contract for him. That's why I automatically clicked it, so my brain didn't even process that I had it. So when it popped up, I'm like, "Wait, what's going on? Why Niles? What does Niles have to do with anything?" Ooh, physical dot cluster, that's always nice. All flame, ember of the false god. That sounds interesting. Wait, oh, this... <laughs> this ritual grants charges as well, so... <laughs> They'll just be at max charges. I mean, I'm fine with that. I can deal with that. I'm glad at least that it's overlapping so much that it just means that it's canceling each other out because they have too much charge gain now. That. Extra monsters drop with plus one. Uh, number of sockets. Extra monster drops Fully linked items. Okay. Jewels. I should go back for the ultimatum. Well, the solution to uh, things being able to steal my frenzy charges is to just not get hit. The solution to things... Getting Frenzy Charge on hit is to just not get hit. Just automatically attack the Trial Master even though I can't do anything to him. Okay... Hmm... Sure, I'll just run in circles with a shade, that's fine. Not survival. That's not very good. That's about a mana cost as lightning dam. Well, I'll make the shade slightly more annoying. I've actually lost sight of the shade already, which is not great. Uh... I'm going to try Razor Dance, and hopefully I won't get myself killed. There's the shade. There's the shade. Oh, inflicts ruin with range attacks. Right. I should have considered how dangerous that would be. <laughs> oh. This is getting bad, but I want the Fertile Catalyst, because nothing is at, up to this point has been valuable. Ah. That's overwhelming with physical damage reduction. Okay, I have none. Fine. This is just going to be my solution then. Moving consistently does also block the uh, razor 
Dance. What was that? <laughs> I have no idea what that was. Uh-uh. Okay, whatever. Easy come, easy go. Lock my shit in there. Good in toes. Okay. Onwards. Fire-based victory. Yeah. I think it was a good choice to switch the path from... from, uh, Airport for Dogs. I, th I think I, that's a game that I want to be able to spend... time on, and be able to, like, really... really give it some time to sink in and stuff, because it is a really weird and strange story-based game, so... It's kind of fun to spend, actually spend time with it and not just finish it too quickly. Random shit. How am I slowing down? Oh, chill. That's why. Hmm. Oh, I'm starting to get a different problem. My damage isn't very high yet. That's causing me issues. Alright, well, once I have a tiny bit more money, which will not take very long, I will be able to get my chest plate, and that's what I need. I mean, technically, I could also swap out my Blade of Naris whenever I want, so that is a thing, too. That'll give me a bunch more damage. I think. I'll have to double-check to make sure. I believe it's a strong upgrade, though. The trial cores, that's interesting. Drop Catalyst. Oh. Oh, Trial! Okay, ultimatum. Okay, that, I understand what's going on now. Trial Master, got it. I still don't associate ultimatum with catalysts, since catalysts were... metamorph for the vast majority of the time they've been in the game. It still feels weird to not have metamorph. But to be fair, I blocked metamorph a lot of the time too, so... I think it's bad to not have it. I might be nostalgic sometimes, but I don't think I really miss it. Also, I need to be re uh, really need to really make sure that I actually check the ritual rewards before I leave the map. Come back and hit the uh, repeating shrine later when I'm done with the map and don't have to deal with it repeating my flame dash N and nothing else. Oh, the gold worm selling. Nice. Wherever. Oh, there it is. I'm wondering what was stopping me. Okay, I need to come back into this map. I need to check the ritual rewards. I need to remember that. That's the last thing I need to do in this map. I need to not close the map. I say this because I do that often. 
Or, well, I used to do it often. I'm in danger of doing it. <laughs> Okay, I'm going back in the map, and I'm getting my rewards. Okay. Give me essence of misery. Not really worth anything. Probably a pool. Ooh, that would give me two more veil modifiers I don't have yet. Sure. That is a better deal. Yum. Sure, I'll defer that. Why not? <laughs> I'll defer, defer the four orbs of augmentation. Okay, what do we get out of the Veiled Mods? Give me something cool. Give me something. Uh, fire and cool damage, sure. Ah, here we go. Uh, I seem to be struggling mostly with fire lately, so fire and chaos. Okay, now I'm done that map. Invitation! First invitation to the league, yay! More chance for June. A little cool. Slam. 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 You're not going to chance to rush again. Nope. Essence Worm. Hmm. I'm gonna go this way over here to like keep going for for June stuff, but it would actually be way more efficient to go down this way. I'm gonna go that way. Actually, no, I'm gonna grab this first, so I have extra June, and then elsewhere, because more June is always good. Your name is Junior Great. Darn it. <laughs> okay. Oh, what was that that jewel we got? Yeah, okay, it was a physical damage one. The vivid hues. Vivid hues isn't so bad. Oh, a couple C only. I make that into something, maybe? It's a 73, so lead in the 68 to 83 slot. That should be fine. And then I want prefixes. Prefixes, prefixes. Steady Torment, good. 3C at best. Limbotanist? Nope. I mean, we're looking mainly for wasting affliction, usually.
Not exposure therapy. Never exposure therapy. So disorientating wounds isn't bad. But I don't think it sells much. No, it doesn't. I don't know if we have an, a high enough item level for wasting affliction, though. Uh, might be worth a few C. Rend. I believe Rend's good. Uh, uh, uh. What's Wound Aggravation again? Is that good? It's decent. Okay. It's got Chaos Res with it, which is good. I'm going to just, just regal it. No. I get increased dot, but I don't know. I don't think it's worth it. Wound Aggravation with Chaos Res is... Two, five, see, let's say. Maybe nine. I'm going to say five, because I'd rather just sell it. Actually, no. Be nine. There we go. Oh, we've got some good things done today. We got two levels today. We were eighty one when we started. Nice to see. All we really have left for our build is the three points here plus the crit strike against blinded, which is four points. Five points if you include the exposure mastery or elemental mastery that gives exposure. Then there's two more we're missing somewhere. Where? I don't know. Wait, I have something really magical. It's called a path of building. <laughs> I should remember to use that. Actually, I think I have an evasion mastery set up. That would explain where some of it's gone. Yep, I do an evasion. Okay, yeah, I remember now. So I have the 100% increased of evasion from equipped body armor mastery. Uh, but I don't have it equipped. I don't have that set yet because I'm still using an armor uh, rare chest plate. Life efficiency. I don't even have the life efficiency one in the build, actually. Oh, there's supposed to be Doomcast here. I forgot about Doomcast. That's where that is. How much is the life efficiency even giving me? 153 reserved to 184. Okay, that's 31 life reserved. I'm, I'm sure I can live without that. I'm going to go for the more evasion stuff. I'll make more survivable. Do I need to be more survivable or do any more damage? Any more damage, actually. I don't really like cutting survival for damage, but... I was thinking, because I could do... I could go straight to Doomcast... If I just take these two points, but no, no. Evasion rating and blind are important. I need to remember that. It's showing me at 61% chance to evade. That doesn't include... Uh, doesn't include the 16% that I get from Frenzy Charges that are always up. It doesn't include the blind, the strong blind that I have. Hmm. Anyways. Okay, I think it's probably a good time to call the stream here. But lots of stuff done today, on both Path and on an airport for aliens currently run by dogs. Both are good games. Thank you all so much for everyone who's been here, and everyone who's here. I appreciate all of you very, very much. 
it is currently Thursday. We'll be back together on Tuesday, or if I decide to randomly stream at some other point. Probably won't this week before Tuesday, just because a lot of work ahead of me. Uh, missed two uploads this week on the main channel, which is really sad, but had some things I had to do. Uh, there, are This VOD will be both the VODs, the Airport for Aliens currently run by Dogs, and the Path of Exile VOD will both be up on the next couple days on the At Black Cat streams. At Black Cat Studio will continue to be putting up edited videos. I'll be putting up uh, some more of the Airport for Dogs stuff. Uh, people seem to be really liking it so far, so I'm going to keep working on it. I tried saying new with a short lately. If you want to go check out the new Airport for Dogs short, uh, why cats shouldn't be allowed in airport in dog airports. It ended up being very good. It took a lot of extra time to make it, but I mean, it'll get better as I learn more. So, yeah. But anyways, thank you all so much for coming today. I really appreciate you all. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, follow, uh, join the Discord. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> Just be great. That's that's your. That is your, your task for this week. It is to be great and to say one good thing about yourself at some point before the next stream. Yes, okay. We'll see you on Tuesday at 2 p.m. PST, 5 p.m. EST. Thank you all so much for coming today. I very much appreciate you, and I hope you all have the greatest of nights. Bye! Yeah.